Once again, films with a British perspective are thin on the ground this month because of the chronic problems of film production. Successive governments have failed to produce any clear policies for developing the cinema. Now we can reveal the sorry story of the last six years with the help of two civil servants from the Department of Trade. We are, we are civilized, civilized, sensitive, sensitive people, people with a strong sense, sense of professional responsibility. I think there's been an election. I'm thinking of taking Sylvia and the kids to Whitstable on Sunday. I think our brief is film. It's where we like to go. What's that? The draft white paper. For the Labour government? Yes. Proposing a British film authority. The same. Should you? Why not? Hmm. Why not? The Conservatives never said anything about film in their manifesto. Yes. It's all up, up in, in the, the air. air. What ought we to be doing? We could always go to the cinema. <laughs> yes? Uh, yes? No, I'm afraid I can't. Oh, no. Oh, I'm afraid we can't put it on that. Not at this moment of time. Thank you. Yes. No, no I'm, I'm afraid, afraid we can't put it on that. Just, just, no, thank yes. you. Um, uh, yes. No, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I can't comment on that. Not at this moment. No, not at this moment of time. Thank you. Thank you. Can't comment on that. Hello. No, I'm afraid we can't comment on that. Not at this moment in time. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Yes. No, I'm afraid we can't comment on that. Not at this point in time. Comment on that. At this moment in time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Independent producers. Putnam. Attenborough. That sort of person. They seem to think we have some kind of minister. Nobody tells us anything. The Minister of Trade, John Knott, has given his Parliamentary Under Secretary special responsibility for film. Good morning, Minister. My colleague and I. You sound like the Queen are civilized, sensitive people with a strong sense of professional responsibility. And we're here to advise and implement your policy on film. We noticed that in the... Queen's speech. There was no mention of the... Film industry. Film industry, yes. Well, obviously, we'll need to get the show on Arrive the... at a reasoned and considered film policy within the parameters of general government attitude. So we suggest you set up a working... Party to keep people at arms quite independent producers people like Putnam and Attenborough quite I thought that went rather well ladies and gentlemen of the press the Department of Trade will set up a review of all existing policies which have implications for the film industry to be conducted at a very senior level. This in no way involves discrimination for or against the industry. However, it is unreasonable to expect a government committed to cutting public expenditure to exclude a review of spending from such considerations. That should give us time to breathe. So, how do you see your film policy shaping? Sir? 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 You've got to show willing. We seem to be pulling in line with the general drift of government policy. Sir? Sir? We've got to do something. Looks as if somebody already has. What is the National Film Finance Corporation? The draft white paper. Yes. Proposing a British film authority. Yes. Still... Quite. 
Shouldn't we make some kind of statement? Statement? Make it look as if we're doing something. That a policy is being formed? Quite. In line with general... Exactly. But otherwise swings... And roundabouts. So no one can nail us? Quite. What do you think, Minister? A statement in the House? By the Secretary of State for Trade. That's, That's the, the way, way to do it. it. Put people off the track. How about this? The National Film Finance Corporation is to undergo a financial reconstruction to eliminate its dependence on funds from government sources. How about this? The government is in no position to announce any plans to establish a British film authority. However, there is the possibility of a modest, once and for all, government investment. However, the government accepts in principle that there is a continuing role for a body to help mobilise finance for British films of an indigenous character. We are not satisfied, however, that this should involve the provision of government funds on a continuing basis. I like that. Quite a lot of brownie points. <laughs> but nothing we can't reverse if necessary. What do you think, Minister? What is the National Film Finance Corporation? Doesn't matter. No? As far as we're concerned, it's only the commercial base that counts. Uh, commercial? Rank, EMI, and that lot. Oh. Rank? EMI. Commercial. <laughs> Looks as if somebody is doing something. Negatives to count as plant? Don't ask me. Day of the Triffids. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yes. No. No, 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 no there's no, no need for concern. Um, and everything that we've had little or no implications for the status of the industry. Yes. yes. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes. yes. No, there is no need for concern. Yeah. Um, the no movement has little or no implications for the status of the industry. Yes. No, the movement has little or no implications for the status of the industry. Thank you. Yes. Yes. No, there is no need for concern. The move has little or no implications for the status of the industry. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yes. There are no implications for the status of the industry. It is merely the resolve of a financial anomaly. Thank you. Independent producers. Atnam. Putnamra. That sort of oh. person. I'm amazed. They're actually pleased. They seem to think it might tip the balance of profitability. I don't see why. Mind you, I don't understand it anyway. <coughs> yes? No. It's actually nothing to do with us. Ask the Treasury. Now about this policy. Minister? 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 I'm sorry. I can't stand it. It drives me. It drives me. Nothing. No policy. Nothing doing. It drives me mad. I think I'm going to cut something. Yes. I can feel it coming on. I think I'm going to cut something. Yes. Yes. Done it. Are you all right? Yes. Quite all right. Just think of it as a saving. Thank you. I feel better now. Children's Film Foundation. Children don't go to the cinema anyway. I'll try to make sure it doesn't happen again. The life of the National Film Finance Corporation is to be extended until 1985. That's good. It doesn't sound as though you're closing it down at all. Its debts are to be written off. It will be allowed to borrow up to £5 million from non-governmental sources. It will get a final government grant of £1 million and it will have payments in the region of £1.5 million from the British Film Fund Agency each year. Ah, we can't do that. What? The British Film Fund Agency isn't our money. It's a levy on cinema ticket money administered by an independent body. Edie Levy. The well-known 1950s character actress. I don't know what that's got to do with anything. 
So you have got an irrational cutting fit coming on. It's gradually hiving off the role of the National Film Finance Corporation to the private sector. If this government is correct, the private sector will respond to the challenge. Rank have decided to stop making films. The British Film Authority. It is much too early for a decision. We need a breathing space until we decide what to do. Wouldn't it be nice just once to say what they're really thinking? It would be bye-bye to promotion. The Chancellor will have more to do with the success or failure of the film industry in the future than I will as the minister responsible. I feel a reshuffle coming on. We are, we are civilized, civilized sensitive, sensitive people with a strong... I think he's been reshuffled. Good morning, Minister. My colleague and I... You sound like the Queen. ...are civilised, sensitive people with a strong sense of professional responsibility. And we are here to advise and implement your policy on film. Quite frankly, Minister, we're worried. You shouldn't say that. We should put our cards on the table. Go on, then. It's your funeral. We'd like to brief you on your predecessor's policy, but quite frankly... Don't. They haven't had one. Your predecessors kept a watching brief on film within the broad outline of government policy. In fact, your immediate predecessor only lasted three days. And you're already minister for something else. Consumer affairs. So, quite frankly, we're worried. We would appreciate some kind of... You've done it now. Why don't you come to Whitstable with Sylvia and the kids? I don't want to. They'd be ever so pleased to see you. I'd spoil their day. I've told them ever so much about you. That's a double-edged remark. You must get so lonely Why by your... Why does everyone assume I'm lonely? Why does everyone assume that if you're not part of a nuclear family with 2.5 children, 0.7 of a dog and a mini metro, that you're somehow bleeding inside? And the social and moral danger. I'm quite happy as I am, thank you. All right, I only asked. We ought to be doing something. Minister? What's the point of asking her? Minister? We could always go to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Probably a bomb. <laughs> ah, it's calling for urgent action on the British Film Authority and a levy on films on TV. It's got 21 signatures. Who? Don't tell me. Independent producers. Adnam. Puddleborough. That sort of person. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it, the way things gather their own momentum? I think we can congratulate ourselves that the general trend in film is in line with the way things are going. You're not really doing anything, and then all of a sudden you're in the thick of things. It's essential for our department's activities to be seen in the light of general government thrust. I look at my signature on things and I think, I've no recollection of signing this at all. Don't you agree? But I must have. Rolling stones. Precisely. Minister. 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 She's resigned. Good morning, morning Minister. We, we are civilised, sensitive people with a strong sense of professional responsibility and we're, we're here to advise and implement your policy on film. The usual. What did you expect? 
Tell me something. What? Why doesn't film come under the Minister for Arts? Because as far as we're concerned, it isn't one. What are we going to do? Prevaricate? As usual. Let's have a review. Great. All that singing... Have you any better suggestions? What on? Oh, what about the E.D. Levy? Why? Why not? What do you think, Minister? 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 Minister. I don't know why we bother. Well, sometimes you are a trifle too straightforward. What is the E.D. Levy? It's the levy on every cinema ticket sold which goes into a fund to help finance British films. Like Chariots of Fire? That was financed by the Americans and the Arabs. What's the point, then? Nobody goes to the cinema anyway, so it can't be raising much money. Then no one will mind if we muck about with it. <coughs> yes? Uh, no. No. Uh, the Minister will oh, be the most Minister grateful, will be most grateful to you, grateful to you for your um, stating your uh, point of view. Thank you. Uh, yes? Uh, yes, uh, no. The no. Minister will be most grateful to you. The Minister will be most grateful to you for stating your point Thank of view. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, uh, yes, yes. Oh, one moment, please. No, uh, the one Minister moment, will be most grateful yes? to you, though, for stating uh, your point no. of view. Yes, one the moment, The Minister please. will be most um, grateful to you for stating your yes. point of view. Thank you. Um, the uh, yes, minister, the no. Minister will be most grateful no. to you for stating your Thank point you. of view. Thank you. Thank well, you. Well? Well? Everyone's contradicting everyone else. Exhibitors, producers. Same here. That should keep us going for months. Watch out. The British are coming. Who's there? The British are coming. The British are coming, the British are coming, the British are coming, the British are coming. It's horrible. The British are coming. Chariots of Fire is very, very big in Buenos Aires. But we're at war with them. I think he's lost his seat. <laughs> We're about to bow to the inevitable. We're the Department of Trade. Films is trade, like, like sausages and ball bearings. If it can't afford to support itself, then it deserves to disappear. It's a waste of time, energy and money to bolster a lame duck. Lame ducks should stand on their own two feet and, and get on their bikes, as our First Minister would say. And even if film is an art, which I doubt that it is, it should pay its own way. If people won't pay for it, then they don't need it. You've flipped. No. Nope. I'm staring back straight in the face of the cold light of day while taking a shower in the cold waters of reality. And I tell you, it's bracing. It's bracing, I tell you, it's... Minister, what, what about, about film? film? What are we going to do? Minister? 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 We need a climate of enterprise. Let's develop new modes of delivery. But with no film's policy, there'll be nothing to deliver. Nonsense. If you build a new road, the number of cars will increase to fill it. So, if we invent new ways of showing it, it follows as night follows But there day. isn't sufficient finance to set things up and profit to be oh, gained you're from. you're being defeatist. Let's live in a real world with real jobs and real money. Why explain? These bodies will soon be dead anyway. I see a bill which will totally privatise the film industry. I see a bill which will rid it of the debilitating effect of state intervention. I see a bill that will make the industry responsible for its own development. I see a bill which will set the British film industry free, even though it destroys it in the process. I see a bill. The government has decided to abolish the following institutions. The Cinematograph Films Council, the E.D. Levy, and the National Film Finance Corporation. The functions of the NFFC will be replaced by a new body, the British Screen Finance Consortium, to be financed by Thorne EMI, Rank, Channel 4, 
and the British Videogram Association. They'll just give the money to themselves. And the government will support this body to the tune of one and a half million pounds per year for a five-year period. And we have decided to give half a million pounds to British Film Year. <coughs> what good will that do? It might attract American money. Films. Films. The, the Americans, Americans will, will make, make those, those for us. us. And Norman Lamont likes the cinema. Like Lord Gowry likes the theatre. You realise what's happened, don't you? No. When the bill goes through in 1985, we'll be out of a job. Will we? We've briefed ourselves out of existence. Frankly, my dears, I don't give a damn. what it feels like to be a filmmaker in Britain. That's after this sequence of new British short films. <laughs> 